Now you're about to learn Torah. It's not about opening the book and reading from the book. וזה מה שהביא מקרא זה כי היא שמלתו וכולי לעניין זה פירוש כי מקרא זה נאמר על העני והאביון כי היא כסותו לבדה היא שמלתו לאורו. What did you achieve from that learning? Did you, it's a very high learning. It's a very high learning. Did it help you? Did it help you? Did it help you? Did it help you? Not that I know. Not that I can feel. No, I didn't understand the word. And if I'm going to translate it to you to English, you think that then you're going to understand it? So, and that's why he brought that verse, that that is his outfit, his dress, his cloak, and etc. To that matter, the explanation is that that verse being said on that poor person that it's written, that that is his outfit, means that that's his covering, it's the only thing that he's got to cover his skin. Did it help you? It's a very high learning. It's Likutei Moran. Rabbi Nachman of Bresler wrote those lines. Is it helping you? No. Why? Because you cannot connect it to your spirit, to your soul, to what that you're going through. But if now I'm going to tell you, listen, that outfit, those coverings, it's how that Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, is protecting your soul. So all life situations, things that are happening to you, that are coming to you in your life, that are wrapping you, that are attacking you, those are those coverings that the Creator is using to protect your soul, not to hurt your soul. If now you have a desire for food, when you feel afraid, you want, of course, every person says, wow, desire for food, no, I don't want, I want to be pure, I want to be holy, I want to be clean from that. Wait, relax, I'm telling you, that that's the way that the Creator is helping you to save your soul. Why? Because you know about yourself that a lot of times when you are under big pressure, a lot of stress, you don't know what to do, you lost. First thing that you do is going to the candy uh, cupboard and you open it and you look for a chocolate bar, something, snack, something sweet. What are you doing with that sweet? You're rejecting, you're passing away, you're removing the sorrow, the pain, the, the, the confusions that you have. You, you take something that will be like first aid, something to relax your spirit. So the Creator, He covered you with those desires, those lusts, and He also told you, hey, listen, it's not really who that you are. That's a problem that you're covering yourself with that, but still, it helps you to cover from the shame. It helps you to deal with your problems. Now that you're covered, you can talk about your situation and you can investigate and to try to heal yourself. But when you're naked and everyone can see your, the fact that you're lost, that you're afraid, that you're terrified, you're not able to speak. You're not able. If you're too exposed, you're not able to, to share and to talk about your situation with a therapist, with a rabbi, with a friend, someone that you meet once a week, once a month, you can come, you can share, you can talk with him. But maybe with your wife or with your husband or with your best friend, sometimes it's too hard to talk. Maybe sometimes the closeness, the, 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 the fact that you're running your life together makes things even harder to share and to talk about everything. So sometimes you need someone from a further distance, someone that doesn't know you so much, someone that you know that will not going to tell, someone that you know that knows how to keep a secret. Sometimes those coverings are helping us. So sometimes even the downs that you have, the sadnesses that you have, the things that you're addicted to are helping you to protect yourself from bigger sorrow, from crazy pain that you might carry on your soul. For an example, I gave that example once in a class that a person now, he's driving his car and he's so hungry and he's losing his mind. He, and he stops in a, in a shawarma, in some kind of diner, and he eats one, 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 one pita, one, uh, one, portion. Por one order. order, portion of food, of burger, something, french fries, and he drinks cola, Pepsi, beer, something. After he finished with that, he says, no, I'm still hungry, I need to eat another one. And he ate another one, eats another one. And, and then he finished, smokes two cigarettes to relax himself. Now he's all full and relaxed, and he's looking at himself, and he's saying to himself, 
you're so disgusting. Look how you're eating. Look, that's a disgrace. That's the way a Ben Torah, a person, a Jew, a person that learns Torah, he's eating. That's how you want to eat. People maybe saw you, how you're eating. Look at yourself. Your phone is ringing in the middle of the class. What's going on? And then you keep, you go back to your car and you're driving and some rude cab driver start cursing you and throwing things on your car from the window and, and, and you're all upset and you open your window and you tell him something, you, 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 you bless him, say something good to him, your, you give your line and that's it and then you drive happy with yourself that you were angry. I'm asking you, if you wouldn't eat all of those amounts of food that you just ate, if you wouldn't drink those two cans of soda, if you wouldn't smoke those two cigarettes, what could have happened to that cab driver? You would kill him. You would kill him. Now you just blessed him on what that he did to you. And the only reason that you haven't exploded on him completely was because you had those two pitot in your, in your stomach. Only because of that. So you see that that food, even though that you're going to define it as bad, no, look at me, how am I eating? It's not, I'm not, it's not polite, it's not derech eretz, it's, it's protecting you. If you come now after a long day in work to the house and you're also hungry, they lost it. The, your, your wife, she, she, you're going to fight with her. Your children, they're going to, they're going to hear you what, because, because you're hungry. So if you're going to let yourself eat a little bit before you come to the house, it's going to relax things. So it's very easy to say, no, look at me, how am I eating? But you don't understand that the Creator, He is covering you. He's helping you.